Good to see you. Well, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Mm -hmm. Twenty billion dollars. That's the size of the richest footballer in the world's fortune. Mm. His name, Faig Bokia. So how is it possible that the public doesn't know who he is? And does he really have that much dough? I think it's time to talk money. It's finally happened. According to Forbes, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo finally became billionaires in 2020. Hey, yay. That's great, guys. But you still have 20 times less money than Faik Bolkia. This player who had spells at Chelsea and Leicester and is now playing in Portugal is often called the richest footballer in the world. But he's not a billionaire thanks to our favorite sport. It's thanks to his family. Faik is Hassan al Bolkia's nephew, the Sultan of Brunei, a small country state on the north side of the island of Borneo. According to Business Insider, Bokia's family is the second richest royal family in the world, with an estimated fortune of over $20 billion. Forbes called Faik Bokia's uncle the richest man in the world, with a fortune of $4 billion. It must be nice for Faik to spend birthdays with Uncle Sultan, right? Big gifts. But where does the wealth of this nation and royal family come from? Here are five key facts about Brunei. Number one. Brunei is an absolute Islamic monarchy that employs Sharia law. Number two, the Sultan grew his wealth through oil and natural gas reserves. Number three, according to the CIA, Brunei owns 0.07% of the world's oil reserves, the 35th biggest reserve in the world. Number four, Brunei is one of the countries in the world with the highest average annual revenue per inhabitant. That means, a citizen of Brunei earns up to an average of $2,750 per month. Fact five, and final fact, Brunei has many advantages for its citizens. Bruneians benefit from a number of incredible advantages, including a pilgrimage to Mecca being funded by the Sultan, almost totally free healthcare and education, and social security. We have our answer. The Sultan of Brunei and Faik Bolkia's family have benefited from oil and gas industries to get rich. Hassan al Bolkia, the Sultan, lives in one of the biggest palaces in the world that costs more than $350 million. <whistles> Faik's father, Jeffrey Bolkia, the Prince of Brunei, is just as rich as his brother, since according to many sources, he has at least 2,300 cars. And not just any cars Bentleys, Ferraris, Rolls Royces. For his 50th birthday in 2004, Jeffrey pulled out all the stops. He built a stadium and asked the legendary Michael Jackson to give him a private concert, hee hee, for $17 million. In short, Faik is the nephew and son of multi-billionaires. So no, he doesn't have $20 billion in his bank account, but he surely will inherit a good chunk of that. And even if he doesn't inherit $20 billion from his family, Brunei seems to be a paradise for Bruneians, as we saw with those five facts. In any case, you just have to take a look at his Instagram account to see he's not short of, well, anything. Pretty standard fare when you're the son of a billionaire and a footballer. That's why the British press have given him the honorary title of the richest footballer in the world. Except Faik is still unknown to the wider public because he hasn't broken through at the highest level. He arrived at Southampton in England at age 11. He then signed on for two and a half years at Chelsea in January 2014. And then the holy grail. He signed his first professional contract at Leicester in the summer of 2016 for three years. Except the contract ended in July 2020 and Faik Bokia didn't play a single Premier League match with the Foxes. So in September 2020, he signed for CS Maritimo Funchal in the Portuguese First Division. Which means Faik and Cristiano Ronaldo have something in common. After their bank accounts, they both have a link with Maritimo. Bokia is under contract with them and CR7 was a fan of theirs when he was young because it was one of his local clubs. Mm. Faik hopes to follow in his footsteps. But as of right now, he's ground to a halt since he's only played 45 minutes between September and December of 2020. We tried to find his current salary in Portugal, but we just didn't manage it. This is why Faik Bolkia is introduced as the richest footballer in the world, but you've never heard of him. 
but that's not the only reason. For example, if I talk to you about Dario Kanka, there must be many of you out there wondering uh, who this guy is. Well, he was an Argentinian player who played in South America. In 2010, he was chosen as the best player in the Brazilian league by a local magazine. That was enough to convince Guanzu Evergrande to sign him in 2011 and made him the biggest star in the Chinese Super League. The club gave him an annual salary of $12.8 million. Hey, that might not seem like a lot today, but this was a decade ago. At the time, this salary made him the fifth best paid player on the planet. Cristiano Ronaldo was number one with $14.5 million a year. Wayne Rooney was number two with $13.9 million. Lionel Messi, number three with $13.3 million, and Yaya Torre was fourth with $13.1 million a year. Of course, CR7 and the others all had sponsorship deals. And to a much lesser degree, we can also talk about Matthew Flamini. In 2018, a rumor was circulating. Flamini may have become a multi-billionaire. According to this rumor, he was even richer than the Bolkia family with a fortune of close to $36 billion. And once again, it had nothing to do with football. However, this rumor was made up, or probably exaggerated. Unlike what I've read, I don't have 30 billion euros in my bank account. This figure doesn't correspond to the value of my company, GF Biochemicals. His company is working on a molecule that could replace oil. And we all know oil means black gold, baby. 30 billion? That's the total value of the market we're trying to attack thanks to the new technology that we've been developing in recent years. There was a misunderstanding. It's as if we've been given one restaurant the entire value of the restaurant industry. Matthew Flamini's fortune was overvalued. He's not a billionaire, not yet in any case. On the other hand, his business did allow him to enter the challenges ranking of the 500 biggest fortunes in France in 2018. He came in 395th place with an estimated fortune of $242 million. Surely an overestimation by challenges, since Flamini didn't feature the following year in the 2019 ranking. In fact, he's a bit like Faik. We introduced him as the richest footballer in the world, but the truth is, his personal fortune? We really don't know. Well, there you have it. That's all the info. Episode one is over, so don't forget to go weigh your wallets and see you soon on episode two of Money Time.